Now you see alpha is a root of this quadratic equation. We have to find the other root. Suppose the other root is beta over here and one root is alpha. So minus b by a over here will be minus 2 by 4 and that is equal to minus 1 by 2 over here. So can I say that beta is coming out to be equal to minus 1 by 2 minus alpha. So if you see this thing, can I say over here that alpha into 2 alpha plus 1 that can be written to be equal to half over here guys. So here we have got a quadratic equation 2x into 2x plus 1 that is equal to 1. Obviously it is not looking like a quadratic equation but for that you have to open up the bracket you'll get 4x square plus 2x that is equal to 1 over here. I hope it is clear. Now you see alpha is a root of this quadratic equation we have to find the other root. Suppose the other root is beta over here and one root is alpha, correct? Now we can find the sum of the roots. Sum of the roots of a quadratic equation is minus b by a. And if you compare the given quadratic equation with the standard form of a quadratic equation that is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So minus b by a over here will be minus 2 by 4 and that is equal to minus 1 by 2 over here. So can I say that beta is coming out to be equal to minus 1 by 2 minus alpha. So basically this must be the answer but out of the given options you see it is not working. So you have to manipulate it, it a bit more over here. So you see alpha is a root of this quadratic equation. So can I put in place of x, can I put alpha over here? So I'll get 2 alpha into 2 alpha plus 1 and that is coming out to be equal to 1 over here, right? So if you see this thing, can I say over here that alpha into 2 alpha plus 1, that can be written to be equal to half over here, guys. I hope this thing is clear. So in place of half over here, in place of half over here, can I write alpha into 2 alpha plus 1? So this can be written as alpha into 2 alpha plus 1 and minus alpha is already there. So let's simplify, open up this bracket. So this is minus 2 alpha square minus alpha minus alpha. So this we can say minus 2 alpha square minus 2 alpha. So from here, can I take minus 2 alpha as common? So I can take minus 2 alpha as common. So alpha plus 1 will be left. So you see out of the given options, we can see that third option is working. So many a times you have to manipulate as well from the actual equation. That is the purpose of this question. I hope this is clear to every student watching this.